Hi there, gym owners. Steve from Gym Hub. I hope you're having a great week. Now today, uh, one of the questions I get asked a lot is how do you create a high performance team? And the thing I always come back to is culture. Now culture is actually made up of five different things and I want to take you through a step-by-step -step process today to ensure that you, you have a great culture in your business and therefore the ability to have high performance uh, output from your team. So the five steps. Um, step number one is having the right foundation and we do that by having a, a, a clear vision, mission and values in our business. Step number two is recruitment. Number three is induction. Number four is performance management. And then lastly, step number five is your contribution as a leader. Now remember, as a leader, your role is to align your team in one common direction and then recognizing what each of your staff's strengths and contributions are along the way. So let's go back to step number one. What's a vision? So a, a vision's largely like where or what space you, you want to, uh, to maintain in the marketplace. Your mission, it needs to be a bit more specific. This is your why. So what was the actual outcome or the, the thing that you hope to achieve by having your gym and your, your service in your local area? Your values is how you go about doing business. So one of our core values at Gym Hub is having over and above customer service. And most businesses have somewhere between you know, five to seven core values, but this is what they become known for. And again, it's all about how they go about their business. So the vision, the mission, and the values are super important and do uh, you know, create the foundation for everything else we do in developing a good culture to then be able to expect high performance from our teams. So I do challenge you to go back and make sure you have real clarity around your vision, mission, and values. Make sure your team also have uh, clarity around what those values are. Um, and, and it might be something you touch on on a weekly basis. So recruitment. Now, for recruitment to be effective, we, we want to advertise and share what our vision, mission, and values are. We want to then try and attract people that already have some of those traits and when they come in for the interview, we want to ask questions that enable us to sort of test whether they are aligned with the direction we, we're, we're moving. Now, induction plays a really important role. Again, this is that sort of first couple of weeks when someone's new to your business. And this is where we, we get an opportunity to sort of explain why we do things the way we do and why we're so passionate about our journey. Um, we, we have an opportunity to educate them and sort of really articulate what the values mean to us and what like success looks like. Performance management. So this is our opportunity to provide some uh, KPIs, so key uh, performance indicators in the business and then some accountability around that. Um, it's our job obviously to tell people if they're not on track as well and, and we do that with sort of love and care but performance management I think is helping people to clearly understand if they do want to progress in your business or if they do want more responsibility, perhaps a pay rise, what things are actually required and how do they behave or what types of work do they need to be doing in order to progress. And uh, you need to make it very clear um, how they can sort of get the most out of that role while they're inside your business. Number five is leadership. So the, the best leaders aren't actually creating uh, followers. The best leaders are actually creating more leaders. So the best form of leadership is structural. It's not just dependent on you and when you're inside the gym, but instead is based on um, certain expectations that whoever the, the existing uh, manager is or the, the person that's sort of in charge uh, when you're not there, um, that, that that is maintained uh, at, at all times. 
Um, as a, a leader, it's important to, to every week go back to your team and actually recognize those people who are demonstrating those core values. So in my business, it might be every Monday I get my team together and I acknowledge the, the core value of over and above customer service. Perhaps I share with the team that I saw um, Danny, my, um, my personal trainer, demonstrate on the phone when he, he, he spent an extra 20 minutes chatting to Sarah and helping her with her nutrition tips. And he didn't really need to do that, but that was an example of over and above customer service and we just want to give Danny a massive wrap. So by me actually acknowledging it each time in a weekly meeting, I'm telling my staff that these core values is who we are, it's who we stand for, it's what we stand for, and it's super important to us. So in finishing today, I want you to understand that, um, I guess I just wanted to re-highlight that if we do want high performance from our team, we need to go back to and look at our culture. We wanna make sure that we have a great foundation and a very clear vision, mission, and values. And um, I think in, in actually layering that, we, you'll be surprised how much easier and how much more fun it is to actually develop that fun and winning culture amongst a team if we're actually hiring them and, and developing them uh, from the point where they're already sharing those sort of traits through the, the recruitment process. My name's Steve from Jim Hub. I hope you're having a good week. See you later.